Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Vintage Survival. We have a slight overcrowding problem with the chickens and the ducks. They're producing like well, chicken and ducks, really. I am running with the um, enhanced animal mod. It will be more realistic than in game, but they are producing like mad and they have no food so I've got nothing to feed them at the minute we've got some eggs got a few eggs here that's still liftable at the minute actually but I think we're going to have to get rid of some of them unfortunately although they're not worth anything <laughs> even worse, isn't it? They're not even worth anything. Look at that. I get one pound total from selling five. Well, I'm not going to do that. But we do need to get them some food today. So I'm going to have to pop and pop to the, the store and buy some food and I think I'm going to have to do the same for pig food as well because they've got zero health it's unfortunate fermenting silage is 75% done so that will be ready today so I think the thing to do to start with then is going to be to pop to the store I don't think I've got any chicken feed or Pig food? No, I haven't. Uh, I think we'll have to keep animal food in here when we've got it back. Seems like a reasonable place for it. Right then. Um, well, I'll have to go down there with the trailer and get some, won't I? Which could do with a wash as well. But uh, one thing at a time. I could also do with some diesel. I have got a barrel of diesel over there. In fact, let's pull it over. Just fill this up before we go. There we go. So the last thing I want, really, is for the pallets to empty themselves into the trailer. I'm not really sure how I um how I combat that unless I can turn the the trailer into a flatbed, which I don't think I can. Let's have a quick look. Oh, I could. Yes, I could turn the trailer into a flatbed. Let's get it into the workshop and we'll do that. Edwin! Stop playing on the trailer. Right, give me a minute to do the work, and I'll get this sorted. Right, and the best thing is, I can customise it without it costing a penny. Right, we'll head over to the shop, and I'll see you when we're there. 
Well, here we are at the store. Looks like they've got this weird looking green thing here now. I suppose that's to help with loading up of, of stuff. Well, that's useful because I need some stuff loaded. Right. Oh, this looks very modern. Let's order some. If only I could get the little bags of stuff. But I can't. Oh, good lord. Chicken feed is £1,500. And pig feed is another thousand. Well, I can't afford that. Pig food is 900 here. Chicken food, 1400 I still can't afford that. Let's see if they do it in smaller batches. Well, I've just spoke to the guy. And it turns out they do. They do smaller packs. Need to find what I need. So, uh, it's pig food. Probably going to need quite a bit of pig food, and that's £423. And they're all um, hand handleable. And I imagine I'll need quite a bit of chicken food as well. But that's affordable. So there we go. Uh, there's nothing else I need at this time, is there? I do, I do want to get on and start a, put a garden outside, though. Won't be needing you today, sir. A strange-looking, funny thing. Right. Oh, I've made a mess. I'll get all these loaded up, and I'll see you in a second. Well, it's not much. 500 litres of each. <laughs> but, um, hopefully it'll get us through winter. And it will mean that the um, pigs will, uh, pigs' health will improve as well. I hope. Well, I can't keep spending this much every month, so I need to find a way to make our own. Well, with the, with the chicken food, it should be easy. We've got wheat on the way from the little field. Obviously, we've got to wait until sort of maybe June, July, August time for that. And uh, for the pig food, that's going to have to be a little bit, uh, a little bit different, I think. Not really sure what to do about that at the moment. Right, I'll see you back at the farm. We'll feed the animals and hopefully our silage will be close to fermented by then. Right, here we are. Let's get the chickens fed first because they've run out. And then we'll go feed the pigs. Well, that was easy. Hmm, doesn't go far. Reckon all of these will fit in here. Oh, once again, quite easy. All of these are going to fit in here quite quickly, I think. Hmm. -mm. 299 litres they have. Well, we might as well put it all in. It's not going anywhere else, is it? There we go, then. 498 litres. Take the restaurant to the pigs.
wonder if I just drive close with it to with it take it. Yep. It will. Well, how much is in their uh, in their troughs now then? You see that didn't hardly fill it up at all, but it's all I could afford at the minute. And uh oh. Likewise with the pigs, although they're not eating it as fast as the chickens. Oh dear. Times are hard in Poland. At, at this time in Poland, I should say. Now, am I actually renting any equipment at the minute, or... Yes, I am. Quite a lot, in fact. That's not good. So I need to... What I need to do with the silage money is to try and... Um, try and pay off some of that equipment, I suppose. because we're going to need some money to rent a bigger tractor at some point. Well, we don't need that open anymore because there's nothing to store. They've had the whole lot. Right, let's go and see how fermented this is over here. Hmm. 84%. Well, I think there's nothing left to do now but to forward time until it's fermented and there we go it took till quarter past three in the evening but the bunker silo is done fermenting so I opened it up oh I left the engine running all that time so what we need to do is empty the forage wagon onto the grass field just in one long line and then use the forage wagon to pick up the um, the fermented silage and then we need to go and sell that and then pick this lot up again and put it into the bunker to get it fermenting it should be a fairly good price at this time of year for Silage. Right. Let's empty this out here in a long line. Then hopefully it'll be fairly easy to pick it up again. I should think. In the meantime, what we need to do is try and Pick this lot up with this. Oh, look, there's some more chaff here, isn't there? Right then. Lower it down. Start it up. Yes, here we go. That's working. That's working nicely. That's one side cleared. Let's spin round and get the other side done. Oh, well, that's clearing it out lovely. I thought it would be leaving bits, but it didn't. And then one little bit still up the middle. Oh, hello. What am I caught on? Oh, I'm caught on the tyres at the edge. And there we go. 
So that is all silage that's ready to sell. Now, where's the best place for me to sell it right now? Silage. At the straw purchase point. According to this, quite a good price for it at the minute. Right, I believe that's the place we've been to before. It is indeed. So we better head over there. It's going to be a fairly long old trip, I think. I want to put some lights on. And then we'll come back and pick up the rest of that chaff and turn that into silage. I think it's going to take us a long time to progress because we've got we're on economic difficulty hard and from from that we made 1422 pounds now we've got to get back and make another load Right then, let's get all this picked up. Might have to come back for any bits that I miss. Driving on it is spreading it out, unfortunately. But the um, the pickup seems pretty good. There we go. That's picked up all that stuff. We've got a little bit here as well. last little bit to get and then we can start dumping it in the pit now I don't know how much of the um, how much of the the recording hasn't had sound I'm really sorry about that but uh, according to OBS it wasn't recording any sound from the game until I restarted OBS so uh, yeah I'm really sorry it may be quite qu quite a quiet game Should have plonked it in the middle and then when I spread it out it, it may not go outside the pit boundary. Right, there we are. Now we have to compact it. Which is going to take us a little while. Hmm. I wonder if I should pick it all up again and put it to uh, put it more in the center. 
Oh dear. Right, well I will sort this out. And get it all compacted and ready and then we'll catch up. Right, we finally have a pit that is compacted. There we go. Blanket all that. There is some chaff that is obviously not going to ferment around the edge. We can pick all that up afterwards, after we've got rid of the first lot. And then that can be our last lot of silage from that cut of that field. I feel like after we've got one more cut off the field and we've stored that grass somewhere to make silage out of, we need to turn that field into, into corn or something. Anyway, that was quite a lot of work for one episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week for more Vintage Survival. Bye for now.